Good morning everybody, welcome back. This is part four of the accordion style journal. And in this segment, all I'm gonna do is uh, walk you guys through, we'll go over some things that we did in, in part one, two, and three, and then you'll see how I finished off this journal. Um, because I did want to keep this one fairly simple on the signature side of it, but then adding some interesting elements. And it's ended up about an inch and a half thick, but bearing in mind this is as it is and you'll have room to, for it, this to expand. I just did a simple um, sorry silk closure on this because there again, not knowing how much you're going to add to this, that's the great thing about this. You could expand it as much as you want. So again, the cover, we've done that. Uh, you've seen on the, this is the front inside cover, and here I just went ahead and did a little bit of collaging on the tags, so that flips over. Here we've got another tag that I've collaged. And then this little window, we created that, so that flips over. You've got a pocket here. I've left that empty. Um, I might add something to it later. I don't know. Um, here, like I said, we, we went through this, the little uh, window page addition, and then we did our stenciling. I've just added some of the little cut out butterflies to the, each of the signature um, strings. And then on the back, <clears throat> I ended up doing a coin style envelope here. So you could add some items there, because as I said, I haven't done any of the pockets inside of this, so I definitely wanted to make sure that there were pockets um, for the recipient to add items to. And then this is the journal card that I made and I've just backed it with some tea dyed paper. And that slips in behind. So going over into the second signature, I just doubled up the pockets here. Now these were pockets from the original kit. So I, I just um, printed it out at the regular size and then I, dub, I did two copies to get the two different sizes and I, I like that. I, I think it looks pretty that way. I just added, um, this was a tag from the kit. Again, I did two per sheet to get that size and then I just did some stamping on the tiny tag there. And again, this is just uh, all the papers for writing and so one, two, three, four, five, six, twenty-four. So we ended up with about seventy, just under seventy-five uh, sheets for writing front and back, which is a lot, really. Um, most of my single signature journals, um, <clears throat> I, you wouldn't get that many. Um, it would be too thick. So this actually has ended up being a, a really big journal. And I have to say, I, I do think this <clears throat> this is my favorite now. Uh, I love the envelope, the altered envelope size as well, because that's a nice, like a 4 by 6 and I love that size. But this, this is my second favorite journal now. So you're going to probably see me working on quite a few of these. Now these are just images that I took and I've turned them into little journaling cards. So what I did here is I've just made a um, another flip with a pocket that I've cut out with a, I think that's about a two inch circle, and I just cut it so that I could tuck these little journal cards in. I did some more collaging here. This flips over, and again, the, the downsized pockets from the kit, I've just added those on the back with a couple of more tags tucked in there. Um, very much keeping, you know, in the nature 
theme of this, I've just added the natural uh, Irish linen thread, thread. And then this, I've made a, a really big pocket on the back, added some lace there, and then a big journal card here with an um, eyelet and just some little scrappy bits of the Irish linen thread I had left over. And then this is the back. We did this pocket together, but I came back then and created a couple of tags that I wanted to tuck inside here. So this is the back of the journal. And then we go now over into the third signature. And I love how that tag came out. Again, just things from my scrap and coordinating papers. And then I just added a tiny little tag up there. And then this, uh, again, this is one of the pockets from the kit. I just cut out a window, added some acetate um, so that that would just show through, just to have something a little bit different. And then these, this is a little uh, tuck spot here on this last signature. And again, just more of the plain papers and a couple of little um, butterflies on the center of that signature. Some stamping, stenciling. I love that page, that's such a pretty page. And then on the back here, I've just added this um, kind of like a tuck pocket. It's large, um, so lots of things could be tucked in there. And I've kept that open down to just the corner so that, that nothing slides out. I don't like it when you leave these open. Sometimes things will just fall out. So you've got that space there and then another pocket here and I've just done another tiny tag that I collaged and tucked in there. And so there you are. I absolutely love it. It's got a lot of writing space. Um, it's the TN size which is always um, fun to work with. I don't I haven't worked really in this size in quite a while, but it's um, it's going to be fun to do more of these. I'm really excited about this. I'm surprised, actually, if I'm honest, how much I've enjoyed it, and I really wish I would have made one of these sooner, because as I said, I, this is my favorite next to my um, small envelope size. So, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed that. Um, if you've got any questions about the elements that I added um, after I went off camera, just message me and I could do some uh, a video for them, but I don't think it was really necessary because most of that you've seen other people do, and that's why I didn't feel like, you know, I really needed to show that on camera because there's so many tutorials out there. I just wanted to stick with things that I thought were kind of unique to share with you. And I'll just give you guys a quick little um, peek at something I'm working on now, going back to the altered envelope. This this is another journal I'm working with now, and I love the colors on that. Um, a nature theme, but again, um, but just giving you a little sneak peek on what this one's looking like. I'm going to get back into this now that we're done with, with this um, accordion style. This is what I'm going to be working on over the next few days um, to get this one complete and put this in my shop. So I love how that's come out. This is along the lines of the coin style, but I just have left it open so that you've got this additional writing space. And I think that's really pretty. Uh, tucks in and then we've got another big journal card here that's that's tucked in. So yeah, that's how this one's coming. Um, you can see another little pocket that's going to flip over there with more writing space. So just a little sneak peek on what I'm working on, guys. And as I said, as soon as I've completed this one, um, I hope to get started on several more of these journals in, uh, you know, Shabby Chic. i probably do a couple more in the journal, uh, Nature Style, just because I'm trying to clear out 
I've got so many things I've, I've printed out and I want to dwindle down the digitals that I've got already printed and start shifting to some very new designs, um, which I'm excited about because I think you can get really bored if you're working in the same things over and over. And I really feel like this year I've got some new artists that, um, you know, digital designers that I've, I've been watching for a while. I want to get some of their kits and start working with those. So I'm really excited about that. So anyways, guys, that's what's uh, going on here. And I hope everybody's well. I hope you've enjoyed this little series on how to create the accordion style. If you've got any questions, just either you can private message me if you don't want to leave a comment or leave a comment and I will get back to those as quick as I can. Take care, everybody. Stay safe and well, and I'll be back soon. Bye.